The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chaplin on the 17th day, Wednesday, April. Uh, we're looking at the Dow at uh, nine, up 94 at 37,891. All the rallies are just un unable to hold, but we did make a higher high than yesterday. That's like a gray leg A in, uh, in the uh, Chapman Wave methodology. <clears throat> now, I don't want to go through this again because I've done it quite a few times other than to say at this particular point it could change, but I am calling the weekly chart a peak D. Theoretically, it's only a C, but you, based on Chapman, uh, Chapman wave techniques that are formalized as techniques, this is not uh, uh, form fitting or anything like that. There is a technique that says if you have almost parallel highs, the fractional difference between uh, the left side high and the right side high, two consecutive bars, you can use it, especially if you have two in a row, you can use it as a phantom peak. And that says, using this particular technique, the Dow has made a peak D. Using the futures, which trades much more than the cash index, you have legitimately made a peak D. And I've got a question mark above it because I have to wait. It's a weekly chart. I have to wait for Friday to see if I can give it a designation of a sell signal. If it, if it also crosses the, the green nine period moving average right here, crosses negative, that green goes under the black and changes to pink, that's going to be an immediate sell signal upgraded to sell mode. I, I don't see that quite now. I see residual strength just kind of keeping the market uh, on hold to break lower. Uh, not just yet. And if I'm looking at the uh, S&P, now look, this is the same thing. S&P, there's no other way I can count this. S&P is at a peak C. Uh, there's no phantom peak possibilities here. Uh, there's no, you cannot find something that's not there. It's just not there. And if I look at the RSP, RSP, which is the 500, S&P 500, equal weight, it's the same thing. That actually has given me a peak F, but uh, that's too big a differential between a peak C and a peak F. So I'm saying that I'm going to go to the cash. But look at this. The E-mini has gone to a legitimate peak D. Look at that top right there. Let me just give you the numbers right here. Look, the week of <clears throat> that doji candle, the week of the 8th of March, was 5256.50. The next week was 5253.50. You can't see it, but that was a slightly lower high. That makes a peak. That's what peaks are all about. And look at this daily chart in a cell mode. So now I've got this, the Dow in the cell mode daily, the S&P in a cell mode daily, the QQQ in a cell mode daily. <clears throat> look at that. Way below the uh, inside track. Pro Actually, I'm going to get rid of that because it's just a mess. Right there, I don't need it anymore. That was the inside track propellant zone. Now it's a repellent zone, but it's so high up. I'm just getting oh, getting rid of it. I didn't get rid of it. I added. Get, get rid of it. Out, out. Damn spot. Oh, wasn't that interesting on Caesar? I don't know if anybody saw an NP on a public TV um, station, the um, show on Caesar. Huh. Power, huh? All right, so let's just do this. Uh, QQQ, yep, following following the S&P at 2 QQQ. All right, C, D, E. So this is exactly where you could add a trough E uh, with a doji candle. There's a chance that you could have a move up now. I'm going to talk about this in a moment. QQQs have a legitimate peak D, and they're pulling back. But that 9 is so far over the 14. To get it negative, you'd have to see 418. And here we are at 430, uh, down 55 cents. IWM. So all the dailies so far are in a sell mode. Is the IWM? Absolutely. It's been in a sell mode for much longer. It's up 18 cents right now at 185.21. And now I can say there's a really good chance that I'm going to get a, a legitimate sell signal. I haven't got it yet. I have to wait for Friday. 
You've got to wait for the candle to close. Um, a legitimate peak E sell signal in the weekly chart. Woo! And look at the monthly back in the rectangle formation. Not good. Now let's go to the um, oh, okay SMHs. SMH. I'm very close to giving it the designation of a. It's already in a sell signal. You see the down arrow. But I'm going to give it the sell mode signal very soon. Uh, this is this to me is a a really major sign. Look, yes, the SMHs. Look at that. For three sessions, it's been pink. It hasn't been pink since the two-day moment in January, and since the start back around the sixth of November. Look at that beautiful tool this is the tool that i call indicator of last resort because it's the one that i wait and wait for to confirm uh what i have in the other using other techniques so this semiconductors is a serious step to the downside it's in a big breather formation if it closes under 210 by monday or tuesday that's just a signal to say time out that's what we're looking at so i i've heard a lot of people talking about the upside upside in the general market when you get the semiconductors and the IAI, the uh, iShares Broker Dealer and Security ETF, in sell modes in the daily chart, you've got to watch those weeklies very closely. It could save the day by running sharply, but at this particular point, everything's daily charts are all in sell modes. I respect that as being the tide has turned. <clears throat> the daily tide is now about to interfere with the weekly tide. Remember Speedboat when I was talking to uh, uh, Teddy Kekstack and, uh, and when I was sitting in for uh, Tommy O'Brien in his show, The uh, Morning Market Kickoff, <laughs> Teddy was talking about the different uh, currencies and how the shorter term can lead the, the, uh, the longer term, but the longer term is really the one that with the greatest input. And I'm just concerned that a lot of people are missing the fact, look, the VIX index is telling us that it's not a single day spike to the upside. It's telling us that it was a concerted effort from around about the 23rd of March. Let me just check the date. Not on my son's birthday, was it? No, it wasn't. It was on the 21st, just after Tommy's birthday. Uh, right there, the low was at 12.4940 on the 21st. For the VIX index, that's 12.40. Let me put that in there. 12.40 on the 321th, 24. <clears throat> and here we are at um, 17, having uh, had a huge move up to there. I didn't put that in, but I should have. There was a two-bar reversal right there. And then I've got Iran, Israel, and bonds. I'm putting them all together. All right, I should even include the dollar. Uh -uh. Um, 19.56. So all I can say is, on a very short-term basis, the VIX got a little bit overbought, but that's, not, that's, that's an emotional response to the market. If at any point you continue with these higher highs and higher lows, that is, please be careful, because the VIX has had a concerted effort, the stair-step move, that's not a single spike that fails with this inverted Chapel Wave Roman candle right here on the 14th of February at 17.94. This is a concerted effort, money going into the VIX. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, Dows of 62. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. A question came in. <laughs> if I could talk about some of the screamers that are showed up on my screen. This is S-C-R-E-A-M for mother, E-R-S, not N. So, yeah, I have won Spartacus Core A share special purpose acquisitions. It's been there a couple, quite a number of times. And I keep thinking, I don't know what they really do. Do I really want my subscribers going to something that I have not a clue about? I certainly look at the technicals. But sometimes you need to know something about uh, fundamentals, just about what. So I've just left it alone. But look at it. It's not only walking the nine period moving average. Even at peak D, it just pulled back momentarily for four sessions and then boop. It makes a new recovery high. This is a stock that was once in the in the 15s, plummets down to under two, and now it's trading at uh, 6.21, and it's made a new recovery high. And look at the uh, weekly chart. This is a single leg A, either a G or an A to the upside. Been tough, but it's holding so well. Um, next one I have is L Lila, L I L A, um, and some of these had rotations on because I followed them for ages. This one's holding well. This is one I didn't know anything about. Uh, this is Liberty Latin America. Okay, maybe it's insurance or something like that. Trading at 739. These are stocks under 10. Just hugging that 200 period moving average. I, I, I just leave it. Let's see CGAU. That looks AU means it must be a gold something or other. CGAU is uh, Centera Gold. Very nice move. Look, I put a peak B over there. It held the 200 period moving average. And then it went C, D, E, F, and now it's consolidating. And look at the weekly chart, made a new low, so this is all leg. Wow, is that a penny difference? No, 27, 27. So that's A, B, leg B in the weekly chart, looking really good, really strong. Uh, that's C, G, A, U, and A, M, B, P. A, M, B, P. See what we got there. Um, yeah, that's just kind of sideways action. I wouldn't be bothering about that. That's a metal stock. I can't make out the name. Uh, metal something. Or other. Wow. Uh, it's there. It's just kind of sideways. All right. So I just wanted to show you that, um, that yeah, so, that, so these change all the time. The other day I had 18 or 20. They showed up mid-cap 2000s. And I said, oh, oh, that must be a top of sorts. And they weren't all, uh, they were a lot of gold, a lot of gold stocks. And usually you think, oh, that's the end of the run. No, no, no. 
But gold is in play because of other things. Gold is in play because it's really important as a geopolitical, uh, it's a, your insurance. It's like an insurance uh, policy to have gold. Um, we'll factor that into the FIB levels. Okay. And now it's another, oh, a question came in about Tesla, T-S-L-A. Uh, where would where would you start to at least think of putting in some kind of an entry point? Well, I think that's a, that was the question. Yeah. So I'm just saying to you, I would be careful right now. The whole EV sector, the whole automobile. Let's just see what Ford's doing. Look at this. Ford's really struggling. It had a beautiful move up to peak D in the Chapman wave. That's where other things can happen. It certainly did. Goes to the 1390s and boof, now it's down at 1217. Uh, GM, and these are the traditional companies. But what did beautifully, and I'm always surprised at the independence of this, is Toyota Motors and its spectacular leg D in the monthly chart ran all the way to the 250s from the 195 area just two and a half months ago. <clears throat> now it's consolidating to peak D in the weekly chart. TM is a symbol trading at 234.00. Uh, minus 2.52. Uh, it's in this consolidation phase. So the answer is that Tesla, if, you, if you're going to have a position in Tesla, rather than having these arch formations that keep failing, I have the one-to-one -one that worked beautifully before. It worked three times in the weekly chart. It's just looking at the top and the bottom and then making it a thick blue line and then say, parallel uh, matching it to the previous and then using it and using it. This has um, a much lower um, downside move. And the weekly chart is even lower than that. It's talking about the, the 90s. I don't want to go that way. I'm just saying to you, I can see Tesla at 154, the whole 151 to 147 area. To me, that's just an area that I'd be looking at. And there's, the reason being... <clears throat> That I only only because I remember from this whole period back in November December of 2020 where it was at where the low was 130.77 the high was actually uh, 202.60 and then it it had an inside bar of 155 126 and then a breakout to the upside and now what I'm looking at is that little cluster of two three months is probably the cluster that's going to have to hold, because if it doesn't, you're going all the way, not you, but Tesla's going all the way down to the 101.81 low of uh, January, or was it December? January of 2012, this year, of last year. So let's go one step at a time. I, I, the gap down, and today, not even may break into a higher high than yesterday's a gap down bar. Uh, if it takes out today's yesterday's low of 150. 3.75, then that whole 140s is going to be a game. I, I just be real careful. <clears throat> I think it's a company that you need to keep on your radar because of what they do. There's a good chance that they have a very secure, expanding um, residual, as Microsoft and many of the huge companies did when they went into a, 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 a subscription format. So Tesla's probably going to have something like that with all their EV stations. And that, to me, is really important. And all the other things that they tend to do every once in a while, they come up with something really innovative. So I think it's a, a, a – as Apple did the same thing, was an absolute innovator, innovator. And then for a couple of years now, especially the last year, they've been very much less of innovators – I still think the Apple products design-wise are just fabulous. Just look at them and they look beautiful. I don't have many. Don't have any. Uh, but my wife has. So I look at them and I really like the look. But I'm just saying to you that um, Apple became a dividend-type company. I don't know if I can put that into the category for Tesla, but it's that format that's going to change. And then the whole thing that Tesla still has a chance to innovate. If they can ever produce a much less expensive uh, uh, family car or family vehicle, let's say, I think that's going to be a big deal for them. Most importantly, um, I think that now more and more people are saying, you know, if I have a choice with, uh, uh, with Elon Musk's mouth, um, I'd rather not, 
I'd rather not have a Tesla. I think that's a kind of an attitude, but they are fabulous cars. There's no question about it. And certainly very speedy. Okay, now let's do this. We've got, um, oh, so th that's the area that I'd be looking at, and I would do it only step by step. I'd start a position, and I'd actually have the patience to wait for higher highs and higher lows for the technicals to confirm. I'd even wait for the weekly chart to give me a signal because the vulnerability to the downside with Tesla has been quite immense. All right, so now we've got a nice move up in the reversal of the E-mini up 10. Um, let's see, I'll do a little work on this and tell you why I see resistance, etc. I'll be right back, Basil Chapman, back in admissions hour, and there are a couple of Dow stocks that are actually doing very nicely today. I'll be back in a moment. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. Just looking at this, I had a question about the E-mini 
Yeah, so the, the uh, 5107 is the 200 period exponential moving average. Uh, 200 period moving average has been uh, both support and resistance. That's the thing to break. But more importantly, you've got the 5101 pink nine period moving average in the five minute chart, and you've got the 5104 black 14 period moving average, and you've got the 200 period. So this whole conglomeration between 5103 and 5105. A lot of resistance. That's what it has to break out to even think of, of, of piercing that whole 5107 level. So this is really tough. Okay, a couple of things. Uh, uh, DKNG. Uh, question is, what are the support levels of DKNG? DKNG is draft kings trading. Yeah, this is not acting all that well. Not badly, but not all that well. At 4439, most importantly, what we're looking at is that it's gone pink. The nine period moving average has gone below um, the 14. So now you're looking at it has to try to overcome that by trying to get to the 46s. So where's support? I would just say make it as simple as possible. A close below means it making lower lows and lower highs if it closes below the 4333 low of the 15th. 15th was three sessions ago. And if it closes under that, then you've got to think of that whole area of 42 is going to be tested. At this particular point, it's holding well, but it has made a peak D at 49.57 uh, around about the 25th of March, and that's a peak D in the uh, weekly chart. And it's a leg E, but a chance of an instant restart it is a possibility because this is uh, a stock that goes in and out of favor. That's DraftKings. Did I forget to tell you what it is? It's DraftKings, uh, sports betting, uh, trading at, as I say, 44 uh, 41. We are long. We've been long for a little while. And I'm looking at it as more, a, if it's possible, as an intermediate term play. Um, <coughs> I, I just don't know yet whether the stop will hold. Uh, we're in lower down, but you never know with this type of thing. So, okay, with that said, that question came in. Where did it go? I wrote them down. I did Tesla. I did DraftKings. Oh, Home Depot. Home Depot. Is there an upside potential in Home Depot? And I'd say, <coughs> excuse me, it's gone under the 200 period moving average. HD trading at 334.05 down 78 cents. Uh, 396.87 was the most recent high. 420.61 was the December 2021 uh, high. And it promised down to the two, 260s and then rallied strongly up to the 396.87 level. Hmm. It's a peak D in the weekly. No, it's a sell mode in the daily, and it's um, it's a sell signal in the weekly chart. I'm absolutely sure um, that if it doesn't close above 346 by Friday afternoon at, at uh, two uh, 4 p.m., I'm going to be making this a sell signal. I have to put a down arrow in the weekly chart, even though it's still only a sell signal. Um, the pink nine period moving average is not there, it's still green. I probably have to wait for that. And the monthly chart has got a peak C and it's pulling back sharply. Yeah, you got to be careful. And if you look at uh, so the, the combination question is, what about toll? You had mentioned you might go short toll. I should have right there, as I, as I was talking about, I should have just done it. One of the reasons why is that we, we, we're concentrating on both longs and shorts at this particular time. And I just kind of lost my, I just didn't, I was thinking of a, even a push option. I just couldn't spread myself too thin. And at this particular point, <clears throat> total trading at 113.42, down 92 cents. Looks very much like if it doesn't hold 110 support, uh, it's going to take quite a dive. But right now, it's one step at a time, sell mode in the daily. Not yet a sell signal, but it did make a peak D high at the 130.63 level in the weekly chart and a leg E. And this is an instant restart in the monthly chart. Ooh, this is something to make a note of. Bulzer is the one that I spoke of over and over and over. That's that's called uh, Bulzer's first source, Inc., building materials, manufacturing, manufacturing uh, components. Uh, it went from 214.70 with a round number low on, oh, I forgot to put the date in. It was March, around about the 21st, I think. March, yeah, the 21st. And here it is. 
at 180. Tell me that round number business doesn't work. So, you know, talking about round numbers, uh, we are all along a particular stock that did have a, round, a couple of round numbers. And so far, it's nicely over the round number. So round numbers can also work um, at lows. But there, you've got to look at the major tide. Whatever the major tide is, the tide is going to drag that particular issue down at some point. Uh, could I look at Oscar, O-S-C-R? Why is that so familiar to me? O-S-C-R is, if I can read it, Oscar Health Inc. Trading at 15.64. Oh, I know why. Because it was in the single digits uh, last year and now it's gone from a low in the fours. Peak A, B, C, D in the weekly chart came back. Let, now, let me talk about this. You see this nine period moving average, how strong it is? And you see the black 14 period moving average underneath it. And you see that the price, one, two, three, four, five, six, even today went underneath the uh, nine period moving average for seven weeks in a row, and yet the price is moving up. It's down today, down six cents at 15.62. Uh, That's usually a positive. It says that you couldn't drag the price low enough to get that green nine period moving average to go uh, pink by going under the black 14 period moving average. So I like this. So what's the question? Can I look at it? Yes, I'm looking at it. Ah, but do you want me to say something about it? Yeah, I'm sure you did. So that's 1407 was the low on the 22nd of March, uh, 1325. Uh, so 1335 is above that. So that's your starting point. Chapman Wave methodology. Let's get one there. And let's get one there. And you've got A, B, C. It's in leg D. Doing very nicely. Um, yeah, so let me just do this real quickly. A, B, another A. But this is not a B. This is a S. S, 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 S. Ah, interesting. Is that an overlapping wave? That's very positive. 13, 15. 13, 20. Yep, that's a B and a C. Okay, so here we go. So this is a C right here. It's in leg D. I like it. So I don't know if you're in it. You didn't tell me if you're in it. But um, I'm just going to say to you that it's acting really well, especially in this environment. So very much like the stock that we have for subscribers. I'm opening call was acting well from last Wednesday, Thursday, as the market was tanking. So that's the reason why we got in. I don't know how high it'll go, but it's holding very well right now. This is the same thing. So I like it at 15.59. This is what I'm going to suggest. No, I'm not going to suggest. I've got a break coming up. I don't want to talk through the break. But OSCR is looking quite positive. I'll be back in a moment. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So Oscar Health, OSCR, uh, is a health care, it does technology company, health insurance plans. Um, what I'm looking at here is, um, so the question is, I'm looking for an entry. So I would look at this, look at this daily chart. You see this cup formation? Now, I, the, uh, one of the things that I've spent a lot of time on over the years, because these, these patterns are very frequent, where you get a cup formation and then it makes a sudden spike, uh, spike up, pulls back, but that creates its own second cup. I tend to go to the first cup, not the outside cup. That's my first level for the uh, cup formation. So the, the quaro, that's the first quarter of a semicircle on the left here and then the right side uh, says that, that that's really the the first level that I'd look at is this level right here which is the high of the 13th of March at uh, th uh, 15 is that a 13 or 15 1542 that was taken out yesterday so you want an entry so I'm going to suggest since I know that you you have uh, a question that has two operating methodologies. One is where you're prepared to have a longer-term outlook if you feel that it has upside potential. And the other is that in the short term, um, you are prepared to step in in kind of a split position. So I'm going to say to you right here at, eight, at 16, just under 16, it's at 1564, I'd nibble and knowing that I really want a price, but it might not go there, but I want the price of the 1520 to 1515 area. That's my first real entry. So this is just kind of step step in, 1565. One of the reasons is the weekly chart's really improving a lot uh, in price with the 9 and 14 and the 200 period moving average. MACD is still weak and the stochastic is still weak, as well as the unbalanced volume. So either there's much, much more upside potential because they, they still have to get overboard. Or there's a divergence here. That's that's why I'm saying step in, just a little nibble at 1565. But really what you want is to get in the nine period moving areas at 1498. Um, I don't know if I would wait that long. I'd say if in the next two days it goes to 16, uh, uh, no, 1525, that's where your first... That's where I start my first split entry. What you got now at 1564, it's just like, a, so I get a better feel for the stock. and then But the real first entry, and it'll be a split entry, would be in the 1525 area. But let's have a look at it together. Give me a yell. But that's really where you want to start your position. Why? Because it's going to take a lot more weakness for the 9 period moving average to go negative. For the MACD to net go negative is still good. Stochastic's finally at 83% and flat. That's good. On balance volume is a bit weak. So that's why I'm saying step in here a little bit, just a kind of a feeler. But the real entry will be split entry with the first real entry being in the 1425. Did I say 14? I keep missing these numbers here. 
So 15, 15, I'd say 1530 to 1520 area. Okay, you could do that in a split second because it's a low price stock. But you can see how the weekly is trying to improve. And the monthly chart has gone from a peak A, pull back. Months later, it goes to a leg B, pull back. It could be ready for the next move up. We'll see. Okay. So I hope that helped you. Next question that I've got. Let me just move this over here. I've got it. There it is. Can you please look at Amazon? Not in, but curious as to short-term direction. <clears throat> so Amazon made it a high. This is good. This AMZN made non uh, made the all time high was at 188.65 back in July of 21 plummets down to 81 that's over 100 points down but then it comes back and it's only in leg C and the other day just momentarily it made an all time high at 189 around about 189.34 trading right now at 183 I'm going to suggest this is very tough why look at that weekly chart Every red candle has been met the very next week with a big, strong green candle. But you've got a doji candle at the high. You've taken out the left side low. You haven't closed under it of last week. The MACD is just about to turn down. The stochastic's fabulous at 94, but also ready to turn down, but hasn't. On balance volume in the weekly is very good. Uh, this is very tough. And that's the reason why I'm saying I just see like a 4 to 8% correction unfolding here in the market. I don't see a major turn down. And Amazon's saying, well, what are you talking about? I'm holding beautifully. It's had a couple of round numbers. It's at 183.81 right now. It had an 83 and an 84 and a 180. <clears throat> and it's holding very well. Wow. So, Steve, I'm going to say this. I like it very much. I have a stock that I I don't have it. I've been looking at it for ages and ages. I wonder if it's going to tell me what I need to know. Here it is. Um, it's in my screamer list that I've had for quite a while. And I, I put down VTEX. Let's see where that is right now. VTEX. Yeah, it's pulling back sharply. VTEX helps facilitate product sales on Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, et al. No, it's pulling back. Hmm. All right. This is what I'm going to say. You're looking for an entry in Amazon. If you're looking for an em entry in Amazon, I, I don't get the sense from the question that this is just a short-term trade. You're looking for a real entrance in Amazon. So I – let's see – Okay, so I'm going to suggest <coughs> at 183.98, gosh, it's acting so well. I do see that the right side is starting to make lower lows and lower highs, and it hasn't done that for a while. It did that back in March before it took off to the upside. I think that taking off to the upside is kind of done for now. This is my thinking. Could be completely wrong. And the digestive, digestive phase. And I'm going to put in a big rectangle right here. Okay, that makes it much clearer for me. All right. So why did we do this? I, you haven't given me any sense of long-term, short-term, if you want to position yourself or anything like that. Well, what I'm going to say, it's acting extremely well. I think the upside is limited, meaning that it could rally, but it's going to, as my eye sees it, I think it's going to start making low highs and lower lows, just for a moment. Just a moment could be a week, it could be two weeks, three weeks, I don't know. So an ideal situation would be to see a drop into the 181, 180 level with the nine period moving average starting to go pink. But if it holds well, it means that Amazon could hold very nicely. This is really tough because the easy thing for me to say is start your position right here at 183.87, but that's the same as we were talking about with Oscar. Just nibble on this. I don't know if that's really what you want to do. I don't, I've never not seen you uh, do that before, uh, uh, Duncan Steve. Um, 
let me think about I just want to give you a plan because the ideal situation is um, in the 181 area but if it goes to 179 it could actually start then to go quite quite a bit deeper I have to think this through because I want to give you a stop as well I'll be back Tigers we have some exciting news live trading Fridays are here Join Larry Pesavento every second and fourth Friday of the month, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time, as he places short-term trades and gives insights into his strategies. That's right, that means the first Live Trading Fridays event starts this Friday, April 12th. Make sure to sign up so you don't miss the potential for huge gains. If you've attended Larry's stellar webinars before, you'll be familiar with the Live Trading portion. Live Trading Fridays will be strictly this portion. That's three hours of pure trading. All trade positions will be communicated clearly and all questions will be answered in a timely fashion during these live events. When signing up, make sure to save $50 by using code LARRYLIVE at checkout. This code is valid only for this month and a discount stays with you for as long as you're a subscriber to the service, so don't delay. Sign up, sit back, and follow Larry Pesavento as he places trades live. See you there, Tigers. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. As we get to this final segment, I'm just saying, I've been saying this for about a week, be careful out there. So the Amazon, I'm just saying, I would not touch Amazon right now. I was going to say nibble, but I don't even see it. I think that we're... We're in a consolidation phase. Uh, I've got a sell signal, a sell mode in the Dow. We are short the Dow. Um, I, I'm, I'm looking at this, even the stock that we bought uh, just, was it yesterday? Day before? Um, that did a beautiful test and is trying to rally. Did rally very well, but it's being dragged. It's showing strength and yet it's still being dragged by the market. So just be, please be careful. Oh, I never even got to this. Look, here's the XLF. This is the um, XLF. is the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund. 42.22 was the all-time high uh, just the uh, end of March. <clears throat> In January of 2022, it went to 41.70, down to 29.50, came back. And so many of these in, uh, stocks and um, sectors have gone right back to previous highs within pennies. Uh, this is within... Uh, 17, 22. This is within 52 cents of the previous high. It made a new high. I think this has got a sell mode in it. And look, here's the KRE. We were in it just briefly because I gave it a chance. This is the regionals. They're not doing well. They made a lower low than the left side low. 
uh, of earlier this year in an arch formation, 45.67. Yesterday went down to 45.30, uh, 45.46. Uh, this is not good news. So just please be careful. Um, you're looking for buys. Have a little bit of patience, and then I would use them as stepping stones. I'd probably have a three. I'd have a nibble at what you like, and then I'd have a split long position with lower uh, a lower point and a lower point. That's the way I'd be thinking right now. I just think the upside's limited. I've got these signals that are, have been wonderful tools. You can even see it here. Look in the 120 minute in the 10 minute chart of the E-mini, look at this. Look, the 10 minute went negative, went pink at the 200 period moving average at the 51.10 level, and here we are at 50.80. Uh, look at that, nine period moving average. What a nice indicator. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Steve Rose and all the great